Prophetess Debile, 7750 Media. The late father of the kingdom of Ngwane, that being Eswatini, King Sopuza II, on a YouTube video titled King Sopuza II with BBC about African turmoil. When asked about the turmoil in Africa over a period described as the past 25 years, the king says, it is due to the contact with the white man who has brought his own customs and his own environment, resulting in the fact that Africans were beginning to lose their own customs and by extension, their identities. His Majesty King Sopuza II said that he wanted to keep what was good for Africa, but to discard that which was not good for the African continent. It is about to be the 125th anniversary of the birth of His Majesty King Sopuza II on the 22nd of July 2024. And same is the 16th day of the fourth month on the Hebrew calendar. And God is going somewhere. Because that same day is the equivalent of the 16th of April, the birthday of my sister who studied her doctorate at the University of Birmingham. My sister, Dr. Pumzile Lamini, born Mabuza in the house of Harry Joshua Mabuza, is a plant genetician. I said it in a TikTok video a few weeks ago that the current minister of ICT in the kingdom of Eswatini, that being Savannah Mazia, hosted a symposium where in her keynote address, she said that the days of a dark Africa are over. She also said that women must be at the forefront of research that will yield solutions needed for our time. And we must come up with cures for diseases such as cancer. At the same time, we needed to ensure financial security for women and the youth. I spoke about this in a video titled Access to Influential People. And still on a TikTok I posted on another video titled, Why would powerful doctors come after my brain unless the fact that I have one threatens them. I could not sleep last night into this morning. The demonic attacks and the spirit of oppression tried to take me out. And so today I can hardly even project my voice. It was hectic. The warfare this July is more intense than ever. And please don't forget that I have been married for 25 years now. On the 2nd of July, I received a nasty letter from my lawyers threatening to sue me for not paying their invoice, which was two weeks overdue. I paid them the next day on the 3rd of July, and it was an instant transaction within the same banking institution. Six days later, on the 9th of July, they were sending me more nasty letters, telling me that they were issuing summons against me because I had not paid their invoice and I had ignored their letter of demand. <laughs> when I sent them the proof of payment, they did not acknowledge it and neither did I receive an apology. Typical narcissistic behavior. I have been saying it for a while that things always fall apart for me during the month of May, June, culminating in July. And here we go again. You have to experience it 
to know what I'm talking about. Nelson Mandela, King Charles III, and Celine Dion are amongst many famous people listed as Freemasons. And everywhere they go, Freemasons set up lodges that architecturally align to churches, government houses in the form of a triangle. So what I'm trying to say is that a Freemason lodge will be aligned to a government house, let's say the parliament house, and it will be aligned to a church making a triangular shape. And so this is why narcissistic people as well love to create relationships that will triangulate a victim. This is done in order to, horn, to, to harness the power of the stars or the signs of the zodiac, which are actually signs of the zodiacal cycle, as they are supposed to reveal the Lord Jesus Christ as the king of the universe. Instead, Masonic altars are erected in order to pervert the destinies of peoples, nations, and individuals. And many people in the professions who have affiliations to Freemason houses and lodges and are part of the system will become hostile to anyone who has the seed of Christ in them. And I am talking about the true Christ because many are operating in the spirit of the Antichrist or the false Christ. The doctors, lawyers, bankers, and business people of the systems and the establishments of this world will squeeze you out, persecute you, and even participate in murder plots against you because of the magic spells that have been cast on the people through the system. I'm going to leave this here for now, but certainly the Lord is not done with it yet. Thanks for listening.